This is Tour 6 of my BMS. Covering the installation of the uh, menu display screen, BMS screen button system. In the Honda Insight there's a handy little cubby hole which is on the right hand side of the driver's steering position in the UK vehicle. This little flip down cubby hole is obviously usually used to store knickknacks etc. I wasn't using it for anything so I've decided to store the BMS display and menu button system in this little cubby hole just to uh, talk you through it what we have here is a little switch this is the main BMS power switch just a simple on and off directly from the battery fused with a little uh, uh, one amp fuse then if we, that would turn the BMS on and off so if we flip down the screen the BMS is actually operating at the moment however the screen can be controlled independently of the uh, actual BMS at the back itself so if I turn the screen on now the displays are not quite right at the moment obviously this is uh, operating in testing mode uh, the actual BMS board on the bench next to the vehicle not wired up to anything or any of the cells at the minute so it's obviously indicating an error and various other issues just talking through the buttons uh, button 1 here would turn on the charging sorry that's button B I'm pressing actually well, button B cycles through the individual cell voltages and this obviously isn't working correctly at the moment because there's nothing connected at the back <coughs> you can see on the screen, or hopefully you can see <coughs> it's indicating there's an error condition at the moment button 1, which is what I meant to press in the first place just turns the charger on, which is indicated by the yellow light and that immediately switches off again because it won't allow the charging to uh, start with the error condition uh, present the flashing red light is an error indication light uh, if I had it connected up you'd also be hearing the audible signal at this time as well from the back of the vehicle the flashing green LED <coughs> is the uh, pulse LED it's basically signifying that the master software is looping through its uh, normal um, routines that should flash on and off about once a second which is the scan time for the 50 cells and the watchdog timer is monitoring this uh, flashing LED or the <coughs> voltage it's being driven by and would give an alarm and trip off the charger etc if the uh, flashing stopped and the watchdog didn't uh, detect the necessary pulses in a certain period so the BMS is operating, I could turn it off with the switch however if I wanted to leave the BMS going but just wanted to disable the screen press that button and you can shut it up and the wires you can see underneath obviously won't be there in the final installation they're just coming from the bench where the master board is sat at the moment so uh, that's tour six, and hopefully you found that interesting.